A world without borders. A world without physical borders may not be achievable, but a world without psychological borders is quite attainable for anyone who desires it. A world without borders is, is the one where people should be able to live anywhere, work anywhere, and contribute anywhere, for the world is one. All thinking people have a beautiful dream that is living in a world without borders. No one has ever been able to actualize this dream. For my part, I can say I made it a reality. I always try to live in a world without borders. According to my experience, the concept of a world without borders is quite an achievable target. In a single sentence, I can say a world without physical borders may not be achievable, but a world without psychological borders is quite attainable for anyone who desires it. There is no need for external permission for this purpose. Every human can enter into this state by their own decision. Let me illustrate with a personal example. Recently, on a two-week tour to America, I reached New York airport. I was asked to remove my shoes during security checking. I willingly started to remove my shoes. Once I had removed one shoe, the security officer said, It's okay. According to media reports, certain well-known personalities of India have had similar experiences. They were offended at it and registered complaint in the press. Why is this difference? The reason is that I willingly removed my shoes as a part of discipline, while others took it as an instance of being insulted. A world without psychological borders can be achieved within a person's own mindset rather than the external world. If you have developed universal thinking, in yourself, that is, you consider the entire humankind as brothers and sisters, you've already achieved the goal of living in a world without psychological borders. You will take every incident at which people get offended as normal and adjust to it. Just as all situations, both pleasant and unpleasant, are accepted within a family, a world without borders only requires universalization of this family culture. Once when I went to Spain and landed at Madrid airport, I remembered the words of an Arab tourist who, after seeing the glorious developments of Spain, recalled the days when Arabs were ruling over the country. He said with great nostalgia, Will the previous age ever return to us? But when I saw the advances made in Madrid, my feelings were different. In my travel log, I acknowledged the attainments of people of Spain and observed Whereas Muslims in their time had brought traditional development to Spain, the Spanish people have now brought development according to modern scientific standards. In modern age, the maxim, everything for everyone, has been accepted as a principle. If a person takes the passport and a visa as parts of a normal routine, he will be able to consider every country as their own. If he happily accepts these formalities, in the modern world, nationhood is linked to homeland. This leads to the concept of patriotism. But if a person lives by the concept of universal patriotism, he will take the whole world as their own. A world without borders seems unachievable at physical level, but at the psychological level, it's quite achievable for everyone.